Well, let's get more of a wrap on the commodity sector. Peter O'Connor joining us from Shore Partners. Peter, very good afternoon to you. Hope you're well. Uh, hey, have you uh, have a, have you had a look at, at nickel mines to see what it's doing at the moment, particularly off the back that it's uh, what it's looking to purchase seventy percent of Oracle Nickel project? Uh, it's getting a huge boost today. I've only had a quick look. I've been buried in gold all morning. I've been looking at Silver Lake and Regis and Belto Evolution. But the uh, nickel mines uh, development is a good one, as you mentioned, and the stock's up on the back of that. And they continue to consolidate the equity ownership and the different assets in Indonesia and growing their business accordingly. And they're the largest nickel player we have in Australia at the moment by a large margin compared to Independence Group and Western areas. Other than they're located in Indonesia, it's a great story. So um, good announcement, good development. Uh, looks like the pricing is also... Um, the right measure, so it, it ticks nickel mines, but not a lot of detail from me yet. I've got to dive into that when I get back to my desk. We've already dove into the gold, so let's have a look at that one. What are we seeing in today's trade? Look, today's um, interesting, so you can't judge gold on one day, as you know, because gold's such a volatile commodity, but the trend has been favorable, particularly going back to September, late September, so it's been a more constructive backdrop. It wasn't so good from June when the Fed started talking about tapering, and we had that period of a weaker gold price, but it's a constructive backdrop. Broke out of its downtrend from its high last year. That was last week. So it looks like we're going to make a fresh new high post last year's high. So um, a bit of give back today, but constructively the gold equity is the highest conviction buy in the area that I cover, which is metals and mining. So they've all come off their lows. They were trading around 52 week lows just over a month, five weeks ago. They're now trading off that, valuations are starting to pick up a little bit, but they're still looking the cheapest sector out there and also the uh, most in terms of underperformance versus their peers. So um, gold names, today's the day to pick them up. So what do we like? Uh, Regis and St. Barbara, the two stand out of the mid-tier larger names. They're looking cheap relative to their larger cap peers. They've got good stories mapped out. They've got deliverable pathways to growth. And in particular, Regis today had some good news flow. The first time for five weeks, they've had some headlines out there. So. Um, some good news the market's digesting now post a conference call just over an hour ago. So um, plenty of um, pickings in gold. The big end evolution, great announcement last week. Uh, a continued trend of uh, doing very, very well placed, well timed and good value M&A, both buying and also selling. So um, the big end uh, looking good and the smaller end, some opportunities today as well. Peter, let's uh, take a look at iron ore, see how that's travelling at the moment. Uh, what sort of key levels are you seeing there for the price of iron ore and obviously how that's playing out for uh, the local miners? It's a good question. Given the downdraft from the high this year in May of $237, it's like where does it end? And at $90, we seem like we found a floor. And a bunch of reasons for that, not least, was about five weeks ago when we had that first large step down in September when uh, three or four Australian mining companies, including Minres, but also Mount Gibson, talked about the pain they were suffering and they curtailed capacity in the short term and Minres reinforced that view last week by cutting not only their current year guidance for FY22 by about 13% but also pushing out some of their produce which are more medium term dated so um, at the moment given steel production is dialed back in China quite substantially we're running at a monthly run rate at the moment annualised of about 850 million tonnes that's down from the peak in May of that nearly 1.2 billion tonnes of steel so a big reduction in demand Supply has been dialed back to um, bridge that or, or reduce that gap. So um, I know ninety dollars. It seems about right for the near term, particularly with Minerals' development last week. So um, it'll probably touch into the eighties as it has, and we may get another run back up to the hundreds. But it feels a bit uh, about right for now, depending what happens post the Olympics next year with Chinese steel make and property development. But um, with all those moving parts, um, ninety for now, and probably lower, but maybe a year away before we get there again. Hey, Sam, aluminium. What, what have you got your eye on? Well, we're very much focused and being more selective at the moment. So we're looking at energy, despite the fact energy is down again. It's a day to day trade. You've got to be careful about watching the volatility. But energy is a place we like to be based on the growth um, thematic interest, the short position in um, commodities, particularly on the back of lower capex spend across the broader complex, be it LNG, oil or also in coal and also uranium. So um, that's the sector we like. So we're um, adding and have uh, overweight positions in the oil space, LNG. Coal, we've talked about quite a bit uh, over the last month or two about how it looks on a value basis other than gold. Some of the cheapest names out there are in the coal space. Not the right place to be perhaps from an ESG long-term perspective, but in the near term, certainly the world's short on energy and going to the northern winter, they'll do well as uh, well. And then gold we've mentioned, but gold's my other key area. So um, from a portfolio perspective, we're very much focused on energy and gold. 
and we're reducing our exposure to some of the more levered plays, the coppers, the uh, nickels, aluminiums, and potentially some of the energy metals as well. So um, very much an energy and a gold focus. Thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you very much. Thanks, Peter.